Welcome back to my 30 day video game review challenge. Today is day four. And today's theme, a video game with amazing graphics. I was gonna choose Donkey Kong Country 1, but I already reviewed it. You guys can go check that out on my channel. So it makes sense to review Donkey Kong Country 2 on the Super Nintendo. We're gonna see what makes this game so special and how it fits that theme. If you guys haven't subscribed to me, please do so. That's going to put you in the running for a Super Nintendo Classic Edition that I'm giving away towards the beginning of July, July 2nd. And guys, you can follow me on Facebook at Retro Tony. So let's get right into the review. Donkey Kong Country 2 is a beloved side-scrolling platforming game starring Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong. Your quest is to save Donkey Kong from the clutches of Captain K. Rule. This is a straightforward platformer. Make it to the end of each level and move on to the next. There is an overworld that you can use to go from level to level. Along the way, Diddy and Dixie get help from animal friends like the rhino, spider, snake, parrot, and marlin. There are also a lot of collectibles in each level. You can spell out the name Kong for an extra life or get various coins you can spend at different stores on the world map. The stages are a good variety of underwater levels, platforming levels, and much, much more. There are also mini games like Collect the Coin or Defeat Enemies, and they add to the enjoyment of the overall game. At the end of each world map area is a boss fight. These fights can be challenging, but once you figure out the pattern, they should be pretty beatable and easy to figure out. Donkey Kong Country 2 should take you anywhere between 5 and 10 hours. If you're going for a completionist run, it's going to take you about 10 hours or so. The world record speed run is 39 minutes, 55 seconds. Good luck trying to beat that time. You can also play a co-op mode or against a friend. Donkey Kong Country 2 can be played on the Super Nintendo and the Game Boy Advance. Donkey Kong Country 2 is going for about $25 loose and the GBA port is $15. Let's take a critical look at Donkey Kong Country 2. First, the pros. My first pro, the presentation of the game. The graphics, the sound, and the soundtrack are all amazing. For the Super Nintendo, the graphics and sound are excellent. This game came out in December of 1995, so Nintendo was still trying to compete with other companies until the Nintendo 64 was released. The PlayStation had already been released in the US and Nintendo had to do something to stay afloat during this time. Although it isn't a Super FX game, it sure does look like it. I was blown away by the graphics and the soundtrack. I can't believe it's a Super Nintendo game. 
The soundtrack is considered to be one of the best of all time on the Super Nintendo. My second pro, the gameplay. There's a reason why this is considered to be one of the best Super Nintendo games of all time. The gameplay, period. It is a nice pick up and play type of game, but it's done so well. I enjoyed finding secrets and the mini games in each level. I love collecting all the letters that spell Kong, the bananas, the coins, you name it, extra lives. The help of your animal friends also adds more fun to the game. It kind of spices it up a little bit. I like using them all, but my favorite has to be the snake. The boss fights are really well done, and it's a great way to cap off finishing an area. My last pro is the two-player mode, Donkey Kong Country 2. It could be a lot of fun when played with a friend. The co-op mode or the competition mode, both are going to add more depth to the overall game. I recommend you give it a try, especially if you've already played through the entire game by yourself. I have no cons with this game. It's as good as people say it is, and some might argue that it's overrated. I really don't think so. I think it's an awesome game. You need to play, you need to add it to your collection, and it's gonna be a ton of fun with you and a friend. I do have a couple of nitpicks with the game. There can be some cheap deaths involved in this game. Diddy and Dixie only have one hit apiece until you lose a life. Trial and error will help with all the cheap deaths. There's also an abundance of extra lives, so getting a game over is really, really difficult. My other little nitpick is the availability of the game. It has nothing to do with the gameplay or the game itself, but this used to be on the Wii Virtual Console, and uh, we know that that's no longer in use. I would really like to see all three Donkey Kong Country games on the Super Nintendo Online service on the Nintendo Switch. I think a lot of people would enjoy playing these games again. Is Donkey Kong Country 2 worth playing today? If you're a fan of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze or Donkey Kong Country Returns, you have got to play this game. This is one of the best in the series, and there are so many fans of this game. There are so many people who say this is one of the best ones in the series. And I have to agree, it's probably my favorite of the Kong series, and you're gonna have a ton of fun going through the levels, enjoying the soundtrack, and discovering the abilities of Dixie and Diddy Kong. Dixie, she can fly, kind of float, and then also you can use each other for co-op moves, and it's a lot of fun to discover what they can do together. Also, using your animal friends, oh my gosh, so much fun to discover what they can do. Probably my least favorite one was the spider. I really couldn't figure out how to use him or remember how to use him. The rhino is a ton of fun. Also, the marlin when you're underwater. And then, of course, my favorite is the snake. He can make you jump so high. You're also going to enjoy the two-player mode. And I've already kind of talked about it. It's going to add some more challenge if you like to compete with each other. Also, it's just another way to play this great game. Donkey Kong Country 2 is going to keep you very busy with all the collectibles. I love collecting the coins, the letters, the bananas everything the mini games are just so much fun and you're gonna have a ton of fun trying to figure out where they're at each level and how to get through each little mini game and of course i've said this already the boss fights the bosses are bigger than life and again just figure out the pattern and you're gonna beat those bosses pretty easily but they do ramp up in difficulty as you go along in the game I really suggest that you stock up on lives so that in later parts of the game you're able to 
do a little bit of trial and error, if you will. Now the difficulty, I say it's kind of a medium difficult game, and I like the fact that you can save and come back to it, and there's just so much you can do in this particular game, and I love the secrets and collectibles. You're going to have a lot of fun playing this, but you're going to have to play it on original hardware on the Super Nintendo or the Game Boy Advance. Theme of the day, a game with amazing graphics. I picked Donkey Kong Country 2 because, I mean, just look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at how bright and colorful it is. Man, it looks amazing. The pre-rendered graphics, I love them. And the parallax scrolling is amazing for sure. This was a much later release on the Super Nintendo and it shows exactly what the Super Nintendo can do and it's gorgeous looking. Nintendo had to do something to compete with the PlayStation 1. They didn't really worry about Sega Saturn or the 32X, but this game, even to this day, is still amazing looking. Sometimes I like to look in the background just to see all the detail. It amazes me that this game came out on the Super Nintendo without the Super FX chip. It really displays the power and the capabilities of the Super Nintendo and what Nintendo does best. If you were to compare Donkey Kong Country 2 to say a launch title on the Super Nintendo, you probably wouldn't even think they were on the same system. It's that good looking. Now some of my favorite stages graphically speaking are the underwater levels. I think they look gorgeous and amazing. Let me know what your favorite levels are in the game that you like to play. And then also graphically speaking, which ones do you think are gorgeous and just stunning graphically? So there's Donkey Kong Country 2. Do you think it's better than the original? Do you think it's better than the third one? The third one's not that good compared to two at least. Let me know some of your memories playing this game and if you think that the graphics are still amazing to this day. Another quick reminder, please subscribe. I'm giving away a Super Nintendo Classic Edition. All you have to do is subscribe to me and you're entered into the contest. Thanks for watching guys.